The A4M is the largest anti-aging medical organization in the world, with a membership base of over 22,000 physicians, scientists, and healthcare professionals from 105 nations. The American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine was chartered in 1992 as the first ever nonprofit medical organization dedicated to the advancement of technologies that detect, prevent, and treat age-related diseases. It gave birth to the anti-aging industry, which is currently valued at over $72 billion annually. Dr. Ronald Klatz and Dr. Robert Goldman co-founded the AFREM. It was Dr. Klatz who originally coined the phrase anti-aging medicine, which in turn sparked a medical revolution. He has served as the president of the AFREM since its inception and has provided the leadership and vision for the academy for the past 17 years. Dr. Klatz is a medical doctor and inventor with dozens of scientific patents to his credit. He's also a best-selling author with more than two million books in print and is known worldwide as the father of the anti-aging medical movement. Traveling can be rough on your health, especially air travel. The reason for that is they're locking you in a big tube, a metal tube with 175 strangers. And you only need one person in the front of the plane <coughs> coughing or sneezing or grepsing, and the whole plane can be filled with that person's sneeze or cough or, or other uh, pathogens that might be emanating there from. So what are some of the things that you can do to protect yourself when you're traveling? Well, in my book, Infection Protection Pandemic, I talk about some of these, uh, these, these methods. One is to take a uh, essential oil, uh, even olive oil, and coat your nostrils so that your nostrils don't dry out and create a open uh, rent for uh, pathogens to get into your bloodstream. That's important. Drinking lots of fluids when you're on the airplane. Um, at least a, a quart of uh, water, of uh, pure distilled water if possible, or spring water or clean water, uh, or if not water, at least some fluids to maintain your hydration because the hydration of the body is critically important for your immune status. Perhaps some additional vitamin C. You know, when you travel, you're exposed to a lot of radiation because you're high above the atmosphere. And so the natural uh, cosmic radiation that's coming from the sun, the stars, um, you know, penetrates uh, right through the skin of that aluminum airplane very easily and right into you. And it may be the reason why some pilots uh, seem to age a little faster than other people who are down lower in the atmosphere. So uh, protect yourself with antioxidants, whether it be vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, uh, selenium. Uh, when you sleep at night, many people report problems with jet lag. Well, jet lag is a very complex physiologic problem. It's not just simply changing time zones. But uh, one of the best preventive measures for jet lag is to take some melatonin, perhaps a half a milligram to one, two, even three milligrams uh, while you're traveling to help to reset your body's clock. Melatonin also happens to be one of nature's strongest antioxidant and one of the most uh, powerful antioxidants that our human bodies produce naturally. So additional melatonin when you're traveling may not be such a bad idea. You may want to check with your doctor first before starting any nutritional program or adding any anything to your uh, body, even a nutrient. But melatonin is very safe and has some be very beneficial effects on jet lag and may also have a beneficial effect on the radiation that you're subjecting yourself to when you travel. So follow these simple safety tips and you'll travel healthier and happier and you'll come back and you won't necessarily need a vacation from your vacation. I'm Dr. Ron Klatz, President of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, wishing you a longer, healthier, happier lifespan.